Hello everyone, I'm Mark Angel and today I'm going to talk about Jun Chun's commentary about the cancellation or termination of Cowboy Bebop's Netflix adaptation. <laughs> I think that in part he was actually a very good actor for Spike, but uh, my personal complaint about him is that he's not as young as Spike. So it looks weird. And even in the series, I remember there are some action scenes where... I, and I know that he got injured and everything. We're going to talk about that in a moment. But the thing is that it's not the same, you know. And I think a young person could handle better action fi action scenes and fights and things like that, you know. But here we have... The series was cancelled less than a month following its premiere leading to mixed reactions from... They weren't mixed reactions. I don't know why they say that. <laughs> and let me read here. It says, The series was initially one of the most anticipated Netflix series of the year, but lost a lot of momentum once it was released. The show got backlash from fans, critics, and, of course, Netflix. Now, they don't mention why people you know, we're very negative towards the show and it's basically because of, I, I don't know what, Pineda, I don't remember her name. <laughs> and she basically, I think she was the one that threw the show under the bus without being released. I don't know if it's under the bus, but basically it was like um, pretty sour experiencing the personality of one of the actors in delivering the same personality. I, I mean, I don't know. We're, we're not talking about that. But let's continue. It says, Now after the dust has settled, it seems fans are becoming more empathetic to what the show went through along with its talent. I think people are sympathetic or empathetic, as they say, towards the actors that actually, you know, like Yon Cho. And I don't remember his name, but the guy, um, this one, gosh, I remember the name of of the actor and the character but he actually did pretty well i think he was actually the one that fit completely the character you know because jun cho you know he's a little bit old nothing bad against being old but actually not looking like the character something very important and you know there were many other things that i could actually criticize but i think that the you know people feel empathetic towards these two here but I don't think <laughs> other things you know they changed some things in the series the personality of Valentine Faye Valentine was very different I don't know uh, this girl I don't know pretty bad but in any case let's go and see what Jun Cho actually said and he says it was very shocking and I was bummed I put a lot of a lot of my life into it it was just a huge event in my life and it was suddenly over Yes, I can I can understand that, you know, because I can see like he was actually very, very good in the character. It's just that he didn't do exactly like it it doesn't have to be like exactly, but the thing is that he looks older, you know, that's the thing. <laughs> He'd suffered an injury while filming and ended up devoting himself to rehab in order to finish filming. On top of all that his family ended up moving up to New Zealand during the time of filming, which is where most of the series was shot. And I think, I don't know, this is something weird. Why filming in, in New Zealand? I mean, I don't know about, you know, filming and those things, but looks kind of like pretty far. <laughs> Gosh. So he says again, with a new narrative of people caring about the show and telling John, Cho said that he was very warmed by the fan response and mystified a little bit about how you can connect with people that you don't know doing your work. The actor continued, but I won't question it. I will value it and treasure it. I'm just really deeply appreciative that anyone will care. Now, this is not his opinion. It's actually part of the article. It says, instead of ridicule, it seems that more and more people are coming around to show support. And I, I don't know if this, this feels weird because, no, I don't think that people are showing support towards the series. And, <laughs> oh my gosh, because if people would have shown support, you don't think that maybe the series would have continued? And... You know, that show is not coming back. It's not coming back. And it's basically because if you cannot compromise with 
following a story, you know, and and I'm not saying that you like people should never do anime adaptations, you know, that's not what I'm saying. But the thing is that uh, it's you know it's like the meme, you know, the Netflix adaptations is always something that is not what they are supposed to be adapting. I don't know, it's very weird in my opinion. And you know, I'm I'm doing this video basically because these people are planning on making a Yu Yu Hakusho life adaptation. I really don't want that. Oh my goodness. And I really couldn't understand like watching this series. I was thinking making a review, but I couldn't stand sitting uh, for more than than three or four episodes. But in any case, guys, I think I understand what Joncho tries to say here because when you put a lot of work into something, it feels bad when you know the whole thing just stops. You know, you know, pretty sad in that part, but. You should thank your friend Pineda. <laughs> I mean, maybe not friend, I don't know, co-worker. <laughs> oh my goodness. In any case, guys, this is what I wanted to say about this. I think it's interesting what he says about the... As he says something like warm response from fans. And that's all for now. So, guys, uh, thank you for watching. And see you in another video. Have fun. Bye.